the last 20 laps went green flag until that green white checkered. And I was thinking, I, I was riding in second place behind my teammate, Johnny Sauter. And I'm like, if I can just make it to the end and finish second, no wreck, I'd be so happy to get my first super speedway race in the top five and have my teammate win. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So I was hoping that it would go green to the end. And when that green white checkered came out, the caution came out, I was like, oh man, this is going to get interesting. And then we'd be double file. Everyone was going to be aggressive. I knew it was either going to go really in my favor and I'd pick up one spot, but I'm thinking, well, I'm already second. I can only pick up one spot. I could lose a whole lot. So um, I was a little bit, you know, cautiously optimistic in that caution, but uh, under that caution, but I knew that uh, stuff was going to get crazy. There was no doubt about mm -hmm. that. And that white flag waved. I was just up on Timothy Peters' rear bumper, pushing him as hard as I could, seeing if we could make any headway forward. And if I could get our line out in front of the outside line, I would have finished third. Again, I would have been pumped about it. And I saw the 27 truck start to spin down the track and hit the two trucks in front of me. And in my mind, um, imagining the, the situation, and how it's gonna go down, I saw a hole in my head, and I'm hoping it's gonna be there in real life when I got there. And um, I just stayed full throttle, drove through the smoke and cleared out the other end. And I'm like, my gosh, I made it through. I start looking around, where's everyone in front of me? And there was no one there. <laughs> and that's when I started to think, I think I might've just won this race. Oh wow, so it was a total surprise to you. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, cause I mean, at the, at the time I was about fifth. Um, and, and like I said, probably my, realistically my best shot with the way it was, was third on that last lap. So I wasn't really thinking about winning. I was just thinking about, you know, trying to avoid any insanity that was going to go on. And mm -hmm. I did that. <laughs> yeah. So once it set in that you had actually won, what were you thinking? My spotter, Eddie DeHunt was the first one to say it on the radio. He said, we just won the race. And my initial reaction was I asked him probably 10 times, are we sure? Do we have confirmation on that? And then finally they got confirmation from NASCAR that we were the winner. And then it was just relief and excitement because I can tell you Daytona is one of the most stressful places you can possibly race. I mean, it, it really is so intense. It takes so much focus right from the start of the race. And the week leading up to that, there's of course a lot of anticipation, a lot of stress. So to have it be done and to know that we made it to the end of the race was a lot of relief. And then the fact that we won was even more on top of that because that secures us a spot in the playoffs in a few months. So um, that, that was really huge for, for myself and for GMS Racing to be able to get that this early in the season.